Are you with me? Mm -hmm. yes. So let's climb the ladders, let's get better. Here we go. The number five women's soccer team is rolling, having won nine straight games and boasting a 7-0 record in the ACC. The team's ability to finish chances has been critical, and it's more than just one or two players. Half of the team's goals this season have come from players who did not start the match, including four by sophomore Emily Bruder in the past two games. That's what's really special about this team is that every player can play. I mean, the lineups are always changed based off of performance at practices because it's so competitive here and um, every player has something to offer. We just don't think there's a huge difference between player 11 and player 19. And the one way we can take advantage of the talented roster is to play it. Carolina's style of play is also geared toward playing multiple games with short rest in between, especially in the postseason. We've always tried to model our team uh, to, to win two games in a weekend. Uh, that's one of the reasons we've always played with great depth. Uh, for this team to uh, advance in the ACC tournament uh, or the NCAA tournament, it's going to be because uh, we're able to play a deep roster. That roster will be tested on Thursday night as the Tar Heels take on number two Florida State at Fetzer Field. With both teams undefeated in conference play, the winner would have a significant edge in the battle for the ACC regular season championship. They're not gonna come out like going easy on us. Like They're gonna be tough. They're gonna want it just as bad as we do. So we have to start and right off the bat and get them tired. If you can conquer this conference, that's an achievement. We have an opportunity with three games left to see if we can run the table. And of course, FSU uh, is formidable uh, and uh, they're the team standing in our way.